Hello. Well, today is Love a Tree Day. So we have a book about trees. And look what we have, the alphabet tree. This book is written by Leo Leone and it is published by Dragonfly Publishing Books. So let's get started. This is the alphabet tree, said the ant. Why is it called the alphabet tree? Asked his friend. Because not so long ago, this tree was full of letters. They lived a happy life, hopping from leaf to leaf on the highest twigs. Each letter had its favorite leaf where it would sit in the sun and rock in the gentle breeze of spring. See all the letters on each leaf? One day, the breeze became a strong gust and the gust became a gale. The letters clung to the leaves with all their might, but some were blown away and the others were very frightened. When the storm had passed, they huddled together in fear, deep in the foliage of the lower branches. You see the letters right here. Funny bug, red and black, with bright yellow wings, saw them there, hiding in the shade. We are hiding from the wind, the letters explained. But who are you? I am the word bug. The bug answered, I can teach you to make words. If you get together in threes and fours, and even more, no wind will be strong enough to blow you away. So we know that letters make words. Patiently, he taught the letters to join together to make words. Here's some of the words. Cat, bug, leaf, tree, me, we. There's some of the letters he taught them. Words, I mean, excuse me. Some made short and easy words like dog and cat. Others learned to make difficult words, twig, leaf, and even earth. See the letters became words. Happily, they climbed back onto the highest leaves. And when the wind came, they held on without fear. The word bug had been right. Look, they're stronger together when they make words. Then one summer morning, a strange caterpillar appeared amid the foliage. It was purple, woolly, and very large. Such confusion, said the caterpillar, when he saw the words scattered around the leaves. Why don't, why don't you get together and make sentences and mean something? So now we know letters make words and words make sentences. The letters had never thought of this. Now they could really write, say things. They said things about the wind, the leaves, the bug. Good, said the caterpillar approvingly. Not good enough. Why? Asked the letter, surprised. Because you must say something important, said the caterpillar. Their sentences were, the wind is bad, leaves are green, the bug is small. He wanted them to write important things. The letters tried to think of something important. 
really important. Finally, they knew what to say. What could be more important than peace? Peace on earth and good will toward all men, they spelled excitedly. Isn't that a nice phrase? Great, said the caterpillar. Now climb on my back. One by one, the letters climbed onto the woolly back. But there, where are you taking us? They asked anxiously as the caterpillar began climbing down the tree. Oh boy, where is he taking them? To the president, said the caterpillar. Well, that was very important when you take a phrase to the president. You guys have a great day and enjoy tree day.